be honest with you i would never buy again this is one of the products that i just do not like <laughs> back with another video for you guys for the returning subscribers welcome and then for the new ones hey y'all hey welcome to the game today in this video i'm basically just going to be doing kind of like not really a product review but more of the products that i emptied out and just to kind of just tell you guys my opinion on them throughout me using those products tell you guys if i like them did it work on my hair was it moisturizing did it give me the definition that i wanted we're gonna go ahead and get into this video and if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel like and comment on this video okay the first product that i wanted to kind of go into detail with you guys is the main choice crystal orchid this is the biotin infused styling gel Honestly, from 1 to 10 with this product, I would rate it an 8. An 8 because the definition is very, like, perfect. Like, my my coral texture, like, my curl texture is very tight. Like, you can see my curls, but it's very tight. Like, my shrinkage is, like, insanely crazy. But with this, it moisturizes my hair. It also gives me the definition I want. The only thing is, I don't like the fact that it was more of like a sticky gel. Um, but it has biotin, avocado oil, and vitamin E oil. So that is really good for your hair as far as, you know, getting your hair and your scalp the nutrients that it needs. Fully empty. Um, would I buy it again? Yes. I mean, it's honestly one of the best gels that I have used because I kind of completely got rid of a lot of other gels i just didn't like the ones that were just more flaky and if you guys didn't know my hair i i have low prosthetic hair so for me it's just like these products eat up my hair so fast and i need something that's gonna maintain my moisture in my hair that's my hair texture is like in between a 4a and 4b so this is just i'm rocking my natural state y'all because i just did not really feel like I'm waiting for tomorrow for my wash day, so I didn't want to like really style my hair that much. And I wanted to show you guys that it's okay to rock your hair in your actual full natural afro puff. You know what I mean? Like, I have embraced my hair, and even every time I go to work, I still get compliments. Even if my hair is not, you know, fully curled like I usually have it, I still get compliments on it. So that's why I say don't be afraid to you know rock your afro pro the main choice products in general the whole line of their products are amazing like i love using their products the next product that i wanted to go into detail with you guys is the carol's daughter coal enhancing moisturizing butter this is how you know i had this butter for a while because the whole label is just completely <laughs> it's completely gone like it's just faded away i love this moisturizing moisturizing butter like it's days where i was just like my hair feels so brittle i really don't want to put any gel or like um, you know, any like gel or anything in my hair and I would just go in with just the butter. It smells amazing. It moisturizes my hair how I want it to be moisturized. And Carol's Daughter's uh, hairline is amazing as well. And my hair is nowhere near perfect yet. I'm just beginning to understand things. I'm just beginning to get more in depth with my natural hair. So that's why I'm trying to take it more seriously and kind of just tell you guys the products that work for me so at least you guys can know a point of view. And I finished the whole product. I wanted to wait till I fully was able to understand the whole product and use it throughout the whole time to understand if it really did give me a better result. And then the next product that I want to go into, this was my first time just trying their line in general. And I only tried one product because I just wanted to see if I liked it. But this is the Afro Sheen Crown Defining Curl Cream. It looks like this. Definitely recommend it, especially for our natural hair girls this smelled amazing like y'all they cream smelled good and then with me i've kind of adapted to the point of going towards more defining curling creams more than gels on because gels in general kind of make your hair flaky after a while and you can't rock it as much like gels give more definition but like the curling creams give you more of moisture and hold and shine than for me than the gels do but it's more lightweight and that's why i try to find products that have 
more of a moisturizing cream and also curls my hair the definition I want. Like you can use the creams and moisturizers for twist outs. I did this with a twist out and my hair was like still moisturized. It was soft. And that's kind of more of the texture I want. I really want my hair to feel more soft than, you know, crunchy. And after it done dried up, when you take it out, it's just crunchy. I don't, li I don't like that feeling because I want my hair to feel natural and I want it to feel, you know, soft and the texture. It's just something where you touch it, it doesn't, it doesn't bother you. Like I touch my hair a lot throughout the day and I know how my hair should feel and how I want it to feel. And if it, I feel like it feels like a weird, a weird feeling or it just doesn't feel how it's growing out. Then I, I have a problem with that because I need my products to match my hair texture. You know what I mean? And I would rate this product. I, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. I would rate this product probably like an 8.5. I haven't had any products that was like a 10, 10, you know what I mean? But this is something that I would buy again because it's lightweight, it smells good, and it's moisturizing and really good for twist out. The next product I'm going to go into, this is more just like a spray, like a moisturizing spray by Carol's Daughter. Um, a hair milk refresher spray for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. It deeply moisturizes, improves softness, prevents frizz. And this is what it looks like. Use this product probably, it was going in probably maybe three weeks, three, four weeks, because it's a spray and their bottle is not really that big. Like, it's not really... It's not really that big, so, and I spray a lot because I want to make sure that my hair, you know, is all over, but it definitely keeps my hair moisturized as far as frizziness. It helps, like, when I do a wash and go and then I go in with the spray, it helps lower down the frizziness that I get throughout the day as well. You don't want to use water. You know how most people use water when they're doing wash and goes or something like that? I would say go in with like a hair milk or a hair refreshing spray and that will give you a better effect because it's, it has nutrients in it that you need to keep your hair maintained. I would rate it a 9 because it was really really good. I just hate that it wasn't enough. I'm going to go ahead and do these as a package. The next product that I'm going to show you guys is by Main Choice as well. Um, the Tropical Morning Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Shampoo and Conditioner. It looks like this. I've had these products for probably like a year now, or probably a year and a little half. I need to start researching more as far as if, you know, how long products last or expire. I know some people say one to two years, they expire after a while. But for me, I don't know, once I start seeing it look different or the change in the texture of it changes, I want to just throw them away because I haven't even finished them yet. I still have a lot in here. Let me try to show you guys, see how much left is in here. And then, you know, but the reason why I wasn't using them as much is because they're very lightweight and because I have thick, low prosperity hair, I need shampoos and conditioners that's going to be thick on me where I can scrub up my scalp and cleanse my hair how I'm supposed to and get all the dirt out of my head. I would definitely recommend these. It's just that now with my hair changing and the growth of it, they're not as, as effective. So I would rate these like a 7.5. I wouldn't buy them again, but if you like lightweight products, I would recommend these. The next product that I wanted to tell you guys, this is not really more of a product, this is more of an oil. It's by Kinky Girl Naturals. Um, she's, I think she's an ongoing new brand now, and her oil is really, really good. And I finished the whole bottle. I had bought two, <laughs> and I think that's probably one of the reasons why my hair grew out a little bit more, because I always used to just apply it to my scalp. I would definitely recommend as far as you trying to grow your hair thicker. I want to order some more from her, but I'm trying to get rid of my other growth oils that I, I ordered um, probably a couple weeks ago. So I want to see how that works on my hair too. I'm just trying to try out different people's products to see, you know, which retains my growth, you know, which one helps make my hair thicker and healthier. I would say a 9 out of 10. Her oil is really good. It's organic. It helps with dry, itchy scalp, hair longer for breakage, hair loss. This is definitely a good oil to try. And the bottles are really good size for this price. Sometimes she have a bottle and get one half off. So you just have to look out for her sale. I'll put her link down in the description below. You guys can go check out her oils. Stay Moisture Products, which is the African Black Soap Dandruff Control Conditioner with tea tree oil and willow bark extract. It looks like this. Pretty much this is almost gone, but I've had it for a long time. And I really don't use this one as much. Like out of all the Stay Moisture Conditioners and shampoos they have, I don't really go to this one because I've never really had a big problem with like build up like horrible dandruff. I feel like this is more for people that have really bad dandruff and they can't keep it under control or their hair flakes a lot. And it helps with dry itchy scalp too. And it has 
you know, black African oil in it. Shea Moisture was one of the first products I was using when I was like in high school. High school, like in beginning high school, I started using their products a lot. And see, I'm 21 now, so their products have been out for a while and they're still coming out with new products that I want to try. I would say probably like a 7.5 as well for this one. I, would I buy it again? Probably not. It's because it's just, it's not really one of my favorites and it doesn't really, this is more of just helping control your scalp. This is not really as far as moisturizing your hair, your hair strands, keeping your hair moisturized, giving it shine. The last product that I want to go into, which I will probably, to be honest with you, I would never buy again. This is one of the products that I just do not like. I would give it a 2 out of 10 with this product just because I didn't even finish it. The Eco Styler, this this one right here, the olive oil and shea butter black castor oil and flaxseed, this one y'all, it's a no-go for me. I mean, I mean, I've even tried it. I would, only time I've tried this in the wash and go, horrible. Like, maybe just for me, but the wash and go was just not a, it was not a success as far as with my hair. Like, I don't know, it, it flakes. It didn't give me no definition. It just felt like it just made my hair oily and greasy more than giving me the moisture and definition that I wanted. But I didn't finish it. I would have, the only time I really used it after that wash and go was mostly like when I had my hair, I did like slick back uh, styles. The green one, I would honestly say was the best that I've tried. I've tried the argan oil one and it was pretty okay. It was better than this one. This one I would not buy again and I honestly would not recommend unless you might have like maybe 3c or 3a hair something like that i would not recommend this for our 4a 4b or 4 or 4c girls okay this is just straight out flat no hey, hey, that is it for this video you guys i hope this video was very understanding and and, and in detail for you guys. I hope that this gave you an insight to want to try them and see how it worked on your hair. So this is mostly all this video is about to just show you guys my empties or the ones that I'm, because after this, I'm throwing them away. <laughs> all these products are going in the trash. I'm not keeping them. Even the ones that I have not finished, they're, um, they're going in the trash because I'm starting off a fresh new collection. So if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I really hope that this detailed video was very informational for you and I hope that it helps you decide to subscribe to my channel for more natural hair videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!